here at Glad's Friday Before Spring Break. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center News, for those of you who register to take classes at Pikes Peak in the fall, they will be here on April 11th to help you select classes. You do need an appointment for this visit, so stop by the Counseling Center to schedule. On April 12th, college visits will start up again with the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota. Juniors, if you're interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, the admissions rep will be here at 11 a.m. on April 20th in the Lower Common. To attend this visit, you must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. On Tuesday, April 24th, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will be here at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium with a full-blown presentation on academy life as a cadet and how to navigate the admissions process. If you are even slightly interested or curious about attending the academy, you should attend this presentation. Parents are invited as well. Recent graduates will also be available afterwards to answer any questions you may have. Seniors, if you did not pick up your Herf Jones orders and it was paid for, check with Mitsubeda in the Counseling Center to pick that up. If you still owe money, get it paid online and then call them at this number to make arrangements to pick up your order. And finally for seniors, the Counseling Center would like to ensure seniors receive proper recognition at Senior Awards Night in May. They ask that you bring in all college acceptance letters, grants, scholarships, and awards letters you have received, even if you are not planning on accepting them. See Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. Now let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody. Just think spring break. Woo -hoo! Hey, what are we having for lunch today? The rumor has it, it's like a nice pair of jeans that fit just right. A little bit of chicken fries. Chicken. Chicken fried. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. With pasta salad. Come on down and see us. Have a great week. Happy Easter. We'll see you when you get back. Thanks. Safe break. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, you heard Miss Betsy on Wednesday. Please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing her in the cafeteria. Students and staff, many of us will be doing some spring cleaning over the break and need to dispose of that hazardous waste. Luckily, the Whitefield Parks and Rec Building is hosting their annual Household Hazardous Waste Disposal Day on March 31st from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can bring in chemicals from your car, house, and lawn and garden. They will also take batteries, smoke alarms, electronics, like old TVs, computer monitors, VCRs, and radios. You can also bring in old mattresses, tires, and paint, or paint-related products. They will not have trash dumpsters this year, and they will not be taking business waste this year. Get your spring started with a clean space. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with some prom and other events happening this week, but first, here's Ethan Simon with some sporting news. Good Friday morning, GLADS. I'm Ethan Simon with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, permission slips to participate in the Powder Puff Games are due today. See Miss Melton in room 103 if you need more information. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You heard it right. It's dodgeball tournament time. Sign up outside of Miss Melton's room. Cost is $5 per five members. The tournament will take place the week before prom and winners will play at the prom assembly. The deadline to sign up for your team will be April 11th. Will the bad hombres seek another title? You'll have to come watch. Ladies, if you're interested in playing volleyball next year, get ready for open gyms starting on April 4th from 3.15 to 4.15 and every Wednesday after that. Come bump, set, and spike up your skills. Our Gladiator baseball team was on the mound yesterday against the Palmer Terrors, but their bats went cold and registered a loss. The boys in blue have a full schedule over spring break, starting tomorrow when they travel to Gateway for an 11 a.m. game. Our Glads are home all next week. On Monday, they play at 11 a.m. against Westminster. Then on Wednesday, they take on Golden at noon, and Thursday, they square up against Pueblo South at 4 p.m. If you need something to do, come out to Big Blue and rally the boys to victory. In track news, the varsity track team kicks off their spring break at the Terror Invitational today and tomorrow at Gary Berry Stadium. It might be a bit chilly, but we know our athletes will heat up the track with their skills. Our Lady Glad soccer team hosted the Coronado Cougars last night, but suffered another loss. The ladies are off for spring break, but will return to our home field on April 3rd against the Elizabeth Cardinals at 4 p.m. The ultimate
Ultimate Frisbee team hopes to start their spring break with a win when they meet the university school at 10 a.m. on Saturday at the El Pomar Sports Complex. If you've never been to an Ultimate Frisbee match, you should check it out. They'd appreciate your support. Our ladies tennis team is off this week. They will return to the core on the 5th of April for a match on the road against the Mitchell Marauders. In swimming news, the boys will be back in the water on April 12th at home against Pueblo Centennial. And finally, here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So this week we're talking about sleep. I know spring break's coming up soon and we want to sleep in and we want to stay up late and get in all those things we don't get to do during the regular school week. But really our sleep cycle doesn't go from day to day resetting itself like we would think. So it's important to stay on a very patterned sleep cycle. Getting eight or more hours of sleep regenerates your body, regenerates your mind. And when we have extra time like this, then it's good to stay on that pattern sleep schedule so that when you come back to school after spring break, everything is easy, you can get up, you're not as tired, and you're thinking more clear. So make sure you're getting good sleep, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Doc. Glad to get some rest over the break and come back for a strong finish to your year. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Hannah and Kieran. Thanks, Ethan. Juniors and seniors, the Masquerade Prom is a short month away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Ticket prices went up yesterday to $50 per person and will stay that way until April 17th. Because they must have a head count for dinner, you cannot buy tickets at the door. Get your tickets in the business office. Please make note of these simple rules for wearing masks at prom. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Ms. Molino in room 166 or Ms. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your masks in the ballroom area, but when you're in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. One last note about prom. Outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them to ensure your date can attend the prom is April 13th. Glads, if you need some entertainment to kick off your spring break, the WSD3 talent show is tonight at 7 p.m. Cost is only $5 for adults and $3 for students. Come enjoy your talented WSD3 students and friends. And finally, if you are looking to earn some extra cash for this summer and are at least 17 years old, WSD3 Facilities is hiring. They are looking for summer ground crew workers. Some of the duties that you can expect to do include landscaping, painting, playground repair, and moving furniture. You will be working a 40-hour week and must have a valid driver's license to apply. Please go to WSD3.org. The deadline is May 11th. That's all for our news this week. I'm Hannah Hall. We'll see you on Wednesday after spring break. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great spring break. It's Friday, I'm in love.